very very beautiful question once again which can be solved in the most easiest way possible without any usage of variables now see here sir this is what i want to teach you sir this is definitely want to what i want to teach you now listen carefully let us read the question reshma leaves her home at 9 am every day and reaches office at 10 am that means let us understand statement by statement and then solve this particular question that means reshma is traveling from home to office suppose for example from a to b she will start from home at 9 am and she will reach office at 10 am that means can i say that every day if she is traveling at her usual speed usual time that is taken for her to reach the office is from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock she will usually take 1 hour every day usually she will take 1 hour to reach the office right 1 hour to reach the office that means for entire total distance if she is taking 1 hour to reach half of the distance she will take half an hour that means she will be at midpoint of her distance at half an hour from 9 o'clock which is 9:30 am if she travels at usual speed right if she travels at usual speed right this is the first statement second statement right second statement read the next statement one day she left home at normal time one day she left home at normal time normal time is nothing but at 9 o'clock itself she left her home one day and traveled the first half of the distance at two third of her original speed that means the first half of the distance she is not traveling at a regular speed she is traveling at two third of her original speed right she is traveling at two third of her original speed now that is the second statement now think logically sir think logically if she is traveling at a regular speed from a to c and also from c to b she will take 1 hour usually usual time she will take is 1 hour if she is traveling at regular speed from a to c and also from c to b but from a to c she is not traveling at regular speed she will travel at two third of her regular speed today because of some reasons because she is reducing the speed she will not reach the midpoint at 9:30 she will definitely take more time to reach her midpoint she will reach the midpoint after 9:30 sometime later we don't know when she will reach midpoint that we will calculate right now see here can i say that from a to c she is traveling at two third of the distance yesterday whoever the people who attended they will understand this problem very very easily distance is equal to speed into time speed is 2 by 3 so time will be nothing but reverse 3 by 2 the meaning of time 3 by 2 is nothing but denominator always represents initial or usual value usual time taken or actual time taken is nothing but actually or usually every day she will take 2 minutes to reach the office because the 2 is there in the denominator right 2 is there in the denominator usual time taken is 2 minutes but today she took 3 minutes that means she is late by 1 minute she is late by 1 minute but according to the question usual time taken is not 2 minutes to reach the midpoint to reach the midpoint usual time taken is not 2 minutes it is nothing but 30 minutes 9 o'clock to 9 30 she will usually take every day 30 minutes to reach the midpoint 2 is becoming 30 multiply by 15 1 also multiply by 15 1 into 15 minutes is 15 minutes late that means the meaning of 15 minutes late is actually every day reshma will travel from a to b she will start from home at 9 o'clock she will actually reach at 10 o'clock if she is traveling at usual speed she will reach the midpoint at 9 30 but because today she is traveling at two-third of her usual speed for the first half of the distance she will reach at midpoint not at 9 30 am but 15 minutes later than 9 30 am that means she will reach her midpoint at what time 
ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಎ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ ಶಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಲೋಯರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಅಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಎ ಎಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಶಿ ಟ್ರಾವಲ್ಡ್ ಟ್ರಾವಲ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಶೋ ದ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಶಿ 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 ರೀಚಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಶಿ ರೀಚಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ರೀಚಡ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಶಿ ಮೀಚ್ ರೀಚಡ್ ದ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟುಡೇ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಶಿ ಶುಡ್ ಕೋಪ್ ಅಪ್ ಶಿ ಶುಡ್ ಕೋಪ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಶುಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ರೀಚ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ರೀಚ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಹಿ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ರೀಚಡ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ನೈನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಮೀಚ್ ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಅರ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಅರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಶಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ರೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಅಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ how much speed she need to travel with it the question now see here can i think or can you think logically like this sir speed and time are inversely proportional to each other that means if i increase the speed time will decrease if i increase the speed time will decrease denominator or left right hand side 30 is becoming 15 it is divided by 2 speed is time is divided by 2 that means speed should be multiplied by 2 because it is reverse that means she should travel with double the speed she should travel with double the speed so that she will still reach on time although she has reached at 9:45 am for the midpoint answer for this question is double the speed that means when she is having 30 minutes she will travel with normal speed itself if she wants only to reach in next 15 minutes she should increase her speed she should double the speed answer for this question is double the speed again a beautiful way of problem solving never seen way of problem solving which you will definitely vote for this particular statement of mind kindly comment in the live chat if you haven't seen this kind of problem solving earlier and this is something unique for you and if you have understood it clearly sir see the question how beautifully you can solve if a person increases his usual speed by 20 percentage he reaches office 15 minutes early how many minutes will he be late to his office if he reduces the speed by 20 percentage let us understand the question if a person increases his speed if a person increases his speed his usual speed by 20 percentage speed increases by 20 percentage is 20 by 100 1 by 5 what is the meaning of speed increases by 1 by 5 i told you multiple times denominator will always represent the initial value initial speed is 5 kilometers per hour final speed will be 1 more than 5 1 more than 5 is 6 so speed is 6 by 5 if speed is 6 by 5 time will be 5 by 6 again just i explained in the previous questions also and in yesterday's class also what is the meaning of time is 5 by 6 time is 5 by 6 means denominator always represent the usual value or the actual value usual time taken usual time taken is nothing but 6 minutes usual time taken is 6 minutes but today he took only 5 minutes today he took only 5 minutes that means he is early by 1 minute he is early by 1 minute but the question says that if his speed is increased by 20 percent he reaches office 15 minutes early question says it is not 1 minute early it is 15 minutes early 1 is becoming 15 multiply by 15 6 also multiply by 15 
every day usually the time taken by him is 6 into 15 which is 90 minutes every day he will take 90 minutes to reach the office this is my first statement come to the second statement of this question how many minutes will he be late to the office if he reduces his speed by 20 percentage now he is decreasing the speed by 20 percentage that means initial speed is the denominator 5 final speed will be 1 less than 5 which is 4 time will be reverse it is 5 by 4 meaning of a time time 5 by 4 means usual time taken is 4 minutes usual time taken is 4 minutes but today he took 5 minutes that means he is 1 minute late he is 1 minute late but just now we calculated sir usual time is not 4 minutes just now we calculated usual time is 90 minutes 4 should become 90 multiply by 22.5 4 into 22.5 is 90 one also multiply with 22.5 that means if he is decreasing his speed by 20 percentage he will be late to the office by 22 and a half minutes very very beautiful way of problem solving which again does not require any stupid methodologies kind of formulas based approaches which can be so beautifully solved in this method I hope the idea should be very very clear sir